on me. Lead. Lead. This mohawk ain't working out on TV. Hey, welcome to the Chill Spot. I'm Corinne. I'm Lisa. <laughs> not Lori. I'm not Lori. <laughs> Today is National First Responders Day. Yay, yay. I like yeah. that. I do too. And we would like to thank all of them for their um, dedication to their communities and the sacrifices um, that they make each day. Absolutely. They do. These men and women, they put their lives in danger every single day. And some of them pay the ultimate price in the line of duty. And you know, Corinne, it's not just um, putting themselves in physical danger, but um, you know, I've talked in the past about my civilian nurse first responding efforts mm -hmm. after the 2011 Joplin tornado. And um, I suffer PTSD from that. And I've done research, and there's very high incidences mm -hmm. of PTSD among first responders. And actually, they say it's spilling over into the nursing profession. Wow. Because of the great stressors and the things that they see, working mm -hmm. automobile accidents and things yeah. like that. It must be tough because if you, like when you go in and you responded that night, you didn't know if you were going to see family or our, right. our friends right. and I imagine they probably feel the same way and that ambulance is driving up to the scene and they don't know who they're actually going to be taking care of yeah and just seeing all the gruesome injuries and you know some people it's it's very difficult to be able to provide any comfort to them and that was my big issue was right. not necessarily knowing what I could do with people who were really dying how to provide comfort and it made right. me feel helpless and that's a big trigger for um ptsd for ptsd mm -hmm. yes i seen on it was just recently during the 9 11 um the anniversary and i'm trying to remember exactly where it was i want to say new york where they had um from the firemen that had passed away mm -hmm. i guess it was their sons mm -hmm. or a female figure in their family was actually graduating and becoming a fireman in their oh, honor wow. so that was that was cute that yeah. brings tears yeah, many to my times, eyes well it seems like many times with first responders firemen policemen uh, mm -hmm. paramedics mm -hmm. um, their children tend to go into that and if you yeah. talk to a lot of firemen especially like in new york city um they'll say their grandpa was a fireman and their mm -hmm. uncle was a fireman and their dad and so yeah they gravitate to that yeah. and it's kind of like when we hear some of our cna stories mm -hmm. that some of the, i know quite a few where their um sons or their daughters are following in their yes. in their footsteps yes you know so even the first responders they have the urge just like the cnas do to help their communities and help with with their residents you know they want they have that compassion to get out there and, right. and help right. people. I think like especially with firemen, you know, their children mm -hmm. see them coming home from work and they go out in the community with their, let's say their mother who's a, mm -hmm. a firefighter and um, they see the appreciation the community mm -hmm. has and they hear stories of how much they've done for right. people in the community and that influences the children in a very positive way. It does. And the, yes. um, what kind of got me was I have some little notes jotted down that the Department of Homeland Security, they estimate 4.6 million work as firefighters, police, EMT, paramedics across the United States. That's wow. a lot. And that doesn't even include the volunteers. Mm -mm. Small communities have volunteer fire departments and that probably yeah. doesn't include yeah. the non-paid volunteers. I think those are like the ones that are like actually registered and paid. Maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know, get a I check know, for it. But yeah, there are lots of volunteers. Because I know in the rural area where I'm from, um, in Dent County, we really depend on a lot of the, the volunteers. Yes. And they don't get paid. No, no. But they still have that desire to get out there. And they and, still um, see the same things. Yes. And, mm -hmm. and yes, put yeah. themselves in danger. Mm -hmm. Yes, for their community. Yes. And thank goodness somebody does that. Exactly. So today, as CNAs, if um, you have a resident that's going to be going to the hospital 
and you have the EMTs and the paramedics in there, just take the opportunity when you can and just tell them thank you um, for what you do. I'm sure they would be uh, very appreciative to hear that mm -hmm. instead of saying, here's your orders and, you know, instead of getting upset about how they're handling your residents, just put yourself in their um, position for a moment and just say thank you yeah. um, for what you do. Mm -hmm. And um, please come back and uh, join us again on the next Chill Spot. Mm -hmm. And remember, you matter. matter.